In today's video, we're gonna look at a brand new battery generator from Milwaukee. Now this is the same Milwaukee that makes all the power equipment you see on job sites, or you might even own yourself. Now you might be wondering, why is a battery generator such a big deal? They've been around for a number of years. Well, it matters because Milwaukee is the first mainstream company to ever release one of these. Until now, the only companies that make these are companies that really weren't even around five years ago because this market just didn't exist. And Milwaukee didn't just privately label somebody else's product, they actually created their own from the ground up. And this thing is very different and has functions that you've never seen before on any type of battery unit on the market. It's called the Milwaukee Carry-On. Now it's capable of putting out 1800 watts of continuous power with 3600 surge watts. Now that's important because they're marketing this to contractors or anyone that will use it for heavy loads. And those tools can have a huge startup draw. So the 3600 watts is gonna make sure you can run things like saws or heavy equipment. It has a steel frame outside the unit that's obviously designed for protection and it looks an awful lot like a gas generator that you might see on a job site. Now on a battery generator, the most important thing are the batteries themselves. Unfortunately, Milwaukee did a lot of things right with this design. They're powering it with the MX fuel line, which is their biggest batteries, and you can use them to run a lot of other tools. But the most important thing is they're actually replaceable. So if the unit gets old and you wanna swap them out, or you wanna buy extras, this is a huge win because now you have control over the replacement of the batteries, which in other units you just don't. But they've also included an integrated charger, so you just plug it in with a regular extension cord to keep it charged. The inverter inside is using PureSign technology to give you clean power, whether you're running a saw or even something like a computer. And if you're into the batteries, you might be disappointed that they're not using something like lithium iron or another type of battery chemistry, but I'll put my money on Milwaukee's batteries over any other type of competitor because they've been making them so long and there are batteries on the market that have been around for years. Other products on the market using more advanced battery chemistries really haven't stood the test of time and you don't know if the batteries themselves or the product will actually last as long as they say. Now on the front of it, you've only got two AC outlets that might seem small compared to other battery generators, but when you compare it to say the Honda EU2200, that only has two AC outlets as well. Another unique feature is it's got Bluetooth connectivity that's tied to Milwaukee servers, so you can actually lock this thing up kind of like find my iPhone for your generator. The next question is the price. This is $21.99. Now that sounds like an awful lot of money for an 1800 watt generator, but you have to think about it a little bit differently. And you can see Milwaukee's calculator here because you need to factor in you're never buying gasoline, no oil and no maintenance. But you might be shocked to learn that this wasn't the only piece of electrical equipment Milwaukee came out with this year. They actually came out with this little tiny one called the Top Off. It attaches to their M18 battery, and once you snap this in, it's a little tiny portable power source wherever you go. Now it's only capable of putting out 175 watts, but this is perfect to say charge a camera, run your laptop. It's even got two USB ports, including a USB-C. Even though this device is small, I wanted to put it to the test, and to do that, I needed a power quality analyzer. Now once connected, I could see it was putting out about 118 volts, and that's within spec. But the power itself is using a modified sine wave to produce the power. Now you can do it two ways. You can also use pure sine technology, and that is generally more expensive. Now here I decided to connect it to the CPAP device. I get asked about these a lot, because people want to know if they can run it through the night. And because this one uses around 120 watts, it was perfect for the test. Now this thing ran fine, I didn't have any issues at all, and the unit performed exactly as I expected. But the big plus here is remember that battery is replaceable. So if it runs out, you can swap it with another one and keep going. Carry-on doesn't have any kind of solar input, so it's not going to be good for someone that wants to live off grid or using solar panels. But this is ideal for somebody that wants portable power, whether it's on the job site, at their house, or anywhere that they don't want to have an engine, but they want power when they need it. So whether you call these things generators, battery banks, or power stations, it's definitely an item that you're going to want to consider for the future. Now I'm going to have one of these next month when they're released, and I'll do a full review to share with you all. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming up.